So, uh, what do you do if your dog's getting attacked by a raccoon? And I say that jokingly because, of course, it's the dog that's going to attack the raccoon. Unless the raccoon has rabies, in which case that can be dangerous. But generally, when a dog and a raccoon get in a fight, it's because the dog is attacking the raccoon. Generally because the raccoon is on the property of the dog. In this case, my dog Lucy, which many of you know, she's a husky. She's over here. What's up, Luce? Say hi. Treat. <laughs> I lied. I'll give you one later. She's a good dog. But, uh... The other night, about two nights ago, at four in the morning, uh, I woke up to... The air conditioner was going, so I... I'm glad I woke up, but I heard her doing her usual attack yelp. And anyone who has a dog who's attacked an animal knows that particular sound. It's kind of a like they've got something cornered. And I have a pond over here. And you can see this pond, which has, well, it's behind the lawnmower and mower and shit. Um, I have a bunch of fish in there. and. The raccoons have come in over the years and taken the fish. I used to have a, a dog, some of you might remember, named Juno. Juno was a Nor Norwegian elk hound, and uh, um, I be we believe it was a Norwegian elk hound and uh, a Kita mix. We know it was part of Kita. And um, at any rate, great dog, but he, he might have gotten one raccoon fight, but Lucy's been in like four. So, back to the story, I hear her yelping, I jump out of bed, run outside, knowing what's going on, she's got a raccoon cornered in the pond, <clears throat> and this is, I've had at least three times to respond, one time my mom was home, it was just me, you know, but uh, about once a year at least, Raccoons come in and they try to take my fish and my dog runs out corners them in the pond They have no chance to escape and they get in a big fight. I Can't tell you what to do or what not to do in that situation because obviously it's gonna depend on the person what they're willing to do uh, you if your dog and raccoon are fighting, regardless of whether you want the raccoon to get away or not, you can't shoot it, you can't beat it, uh, but be very careful about how you handle the situation. Dogs can usually handle their own. They are cautious about how they approach the animal. Allow the dog to do what the dog's going to do if you can't get the dog away. I've thought about getting a long leash, one of those almost dog catcher leashes, because then I could just put it on her and pull her away. Um, but she goes crazy on them. What I did was I grabbed the hose and I sprayed water on her and the raccoon. What that did, I realized in retrospect, was probably blinded her. But in that chaos there of all the water, uh, the raccoon got onto her face and latched on and she was just yelping like crazy. It went on for a long time. It was at least 30 seconds of this her trying to dunk it in the pond. It was a nightmare. And I'm out there naked, wang shla schlong, flapping in the breeze. Uh, probably entertaining if I had security cameras there. But, uh, yeah, I eventually, after that happened, it let go. And then I screamed at her and she called her back and she ran back to me. And then she ran in the house and she was pretty fucked up. Her nose had a huge bump on it. Um, she had a rabies shot when she was born. She's only three. But uh, I don't, you know, I don't think it was an issue of that. It was just her confronting an animal in the pond. So, <clears throat> yeah, be careful. And if you have a dog, a dog's going to attack sometimes. It doesn't matter what kind of dog it is. There are some dogs who are more chill, that, of course, but dogs have an instinct, and if you want to have an animal, it's going to have that instinct. It's the same way with people who have cats. 
I've had cats most of my life. I don't have one right now, but uh, a lot of folks really don't like cats because they attack birds, but uh, they've always attacked birds. Of course, they're not native here, so there's that argument, but there's a lot of birds too, uh, at least where I live, but I don't know. <laughs> As I look up, I see a hummingbird sitting on the wire up there. It's beautiful. Uh, he perches up there and just watches. He's waiting for these, uh, behind me, these are, uh, la uh, not honeysuckle, but, uh, what are they called? I can't remember the type of the flower. Jasmine. They're, these are all jasmine, and they're about to bloom. So there's like ten buds on there, and uh, thousands of them. And I've got a whole bunch of berries growing. I've got like, I counted like a minimum of like 500 strawberries that are already, you know, starting. And then a shitload of raspberry bushes that'll be blooming next month. Grapes. I gotta plant my garden. Talk to y'all next time. Uh, yeah. Just a ramble about raccoons and dogs. Peace.